Hey, Johnny D here, True Golf Fitness, Train Like an Athlete for Bowling, and here we go with some knee strengthening and stabilization exercises, okay? Now, going to go through these, about five or six moves, and you know, if, if, you know, if you're having some serious issues, obviously you got to go see your doctor and, and have them diagnosed and see what's going on there, but these things I'm going to give you uh, that are great for, again, you know, strengthening and some stabilization of the knee. The first one is basically a shallow uh, squat, and typically, I'm going to get sideways, can you kind of see this here. Typically on a squat, you kind of sit way back and get as deep as you can. Okay, and coming up. With, and you know, you never want the knees tracking way over uh, your, your toes. But in this case here, we're not, we're not going to do that, especially again, you're having some knee issues and some strengthening and some stabilization. So basically, you're going to do a shallow squat. You're going to do, go down just a little bit and come back up. Depending on the, you know, the issues you have with your knee or discomfort, just a little bit and come up and just a little here. And again, wherever it is that you can go, if, it's, if this is it, before you start experiencing some discomfort or pain, then that's all you go. Okay, here, and you're up. Otherwise, you can go a little deeper, and come up, a little deeper, and come up. Not ask you to go all the way down, okay? Just go where you can, sink into it, and right there. So it's kind of a shallow uh, squat, again, the basis for starting to stabilize and strengthen the day. Okay, the first one we're gonna do is a bridge, okay? So about 90 degrees, 90 degrees so here on your back, you're gonna bridge up. When you do this again, tighten your core, tighten the stomach. Remember, we talked about sucking belly button to the spine. Squeeze up, hold it for 10 seconds, and then you come down, okay? And then you get repeat for 10 seconds, holding it. Squeeze into your stomach, everything's tight, and you're down. Now, the first time through, let's say you're experiencing some issues or whatever, I, I suggest doing five of each move, okay? Uh, after, let's say, two days, the next time you do it, go through 10 of each move. And then the next, the third day you do it, go through 15 of each move, okay? And, um, you know, try to repeat it two or three times, okay? But the first time through, just go through for five moves. The second one is, again, you can be back on your, on your back here. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna, for 10 seconds, you're gonna squeeze in. I'm holding the hair like isometric hold, so I'm squeezing. You, you'll be able to feel some, some pressure. It may not seem like a lot, but these, again, great for strengthening and conditioning the knees. So I'm squeezing in here. After 10 seconds, I'm gonna raise straight up, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to lock out my knees. Now, you always, you may have heard about it's bad to lock out your knees. The only time it's bad to lock out your knees is when you got pressure on them. And here, there's no pressure. Okay, you can lock knees out. Okay, if I were doing a, a floor exercise or something, maybe I'm pushing a big, you know, bunch of weight or something like that, you don't wanna lock the legs out. You don't wanna lock the knees out. You wanna just keep them flexible. But in this case here, again, we're starting here, and I'm squeezing in, and I'm actually bringing my heels to my butt, and I'm squeezing in. After 10 seconds, I'm raising up. For another 10 seconds, and I'm gonna be coming down. And again, repeat that five times, okay? So that's your next move. Okay, the next one, you could do with a towel. You could roll a towel up. In this case, I have a ball, this ball is really soft, if you can see that, but it's, not, there's not much air in it. Uh, you can get, you know, even a basketball, uh, take some air out of it. Uh, this is actually a little playground ball uh, that we use here at the studio. So, again, right under, uh, right under your knee, and you're going to flex the foot, and you're gonna just hold it for 10 seconds. When I flex the foot, I don't know if you can see here, but I'm, Get a contraction here of my thigh. And I'm gonna hold that for 10 seconds. Okay, and back down we go. Okay, and again, up again 10 seconds. Remember, five on the first set all the way around. Holding that there. You can see the muscle contract, and we're back down. And again, we're gonna do it again. Muscle contract, and back down. And then, you might as well do both sides. I mean, if you're not having an issue on the other side, we're talking about strengthening, and conditioning, and, and uh, stabilizing uh, the knee. So, uh, you would go that, do that for about five times on each. And again, next next time you do it, ten. Next time you do it, do it fifteen, and try to repeat a couple times. Okay, so 
The next move I want you to do is called a patella mobilization. Basically, we're talking about the knee, kneecap. We're going to kind of massage, we're going to move the kneecap around, okay? To again, help to strengthen and stabilize the whole knee. Great for your knee, might as well do both knees. But I want to get a nice close up because you kind of see what we're going to do here. The first one, and again, I'm nice and relaxed. If I tighten up, you know what I mean, uh, and contract, it's much harder to move this knee around. So I'm nice and relaxed, okay? And right here, I'm going to kind of thumb and, and forefinger. I'm going to be able to move my knee from side to side, move the kneecap from side to side. I'll try to go all the way here, maybe you can see that a little better. It's kind of a little massage in the knee, but I'm able to move it back and forth, side to side. Okay, not much. And then the other one is that side to side, then you want to go front to back, so you can kind of, kind of cup the knee here. I got a little pressure here, my, uh, my thumb on top, thumb on top, forefinger here, and I'm just going to move it up and down. Okay, so again, we go side to side, and then we go up and down, and you'll do the other knee. So, uh, nice little close up to show you kind of a little, again, patella mobilization, strengthen and condition um, and stabilize your knee. So, there's some, some movements you can do for your knee. Um, also, I mean, you can go on YouTube and find a lot, of, a lot of great stuff. Just pop in, you know, knee injuries, and you see what pops up. Uh, but a lot of these will be some, a lot of similar ones that come up on, on most of the. Uh, on a lot of those, uh, I'm sure on some of those sites, okay? All right, so I hope that helps you a little bit with some of the, again, knee strengthening and stabilization uh, exercises uh, for your knee. Uh, again, do them, first time you do them, I would do five each time, you know, go both sides uh, of each movement. Next time out, maybe skip a day, the second day you do it, do 10, okay, of each movement. And then the third day, like I said, do 15 uh, each time and try to repeat it two or three times, okay? Again, do it in the morning when you have some free time. This will not take a long time. If you have knee issues uh, or some knee pain, these will really help towards alleviating a lot of that. And again, in time, help strengthen um, the knee and, and, uh, and areas around it, because a lot of these things that we, we're showing you too will strengthen muscles around the knee. And a lot of times, you know, that's what you need to do. You need to, to really strengthen areas around an injury to help really stabilize it. Uh, to where it can, you know, uh, help support, uh, you know, different spots better. So in this case, we're talking about the knee. So I hope that helps you. Again, as always, tell me if you have any questions, comments, you know where to find me. All right, it's Johnny D. Take care. Bye-bye.